Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Core Keeper, shall we? Alex Grimm, good to see you. Alright, so Core Keeper is a game I've played a couple of times in different stages of early access, and now it's all available 1.0, and I'm ready to give it a shot. Heathrun, Space Fox, good evening, good to see you. No, I haven't yet. Space Fox, and I've really thought about doing another satisfactory run because I enjoy it so much. All right. See what's different with 1.0. We are going to start up a brand new game. And we'll go to a new world because I understand the world generation is different. So let's do it. And, um, you know, we can enter a world name. I backed out. Siloom, good evening. Good to see you. All right. Game mode standard. Seems great. And... We will say done. Um, I'm going to make a new character. I understand there's some new classes in the game. Like there's a, a druid... Or a a warlock and a mage or something. That's kind of cool. Um, standard characters respawn after dying. This is the intended way to play. Yes. No, not hardcore. Standard. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and do this. Body. Uh-huh. Let's see the skin options. Well, there's options. But not quite what we were looking for. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at that shirt. Pants? Optional. All right. Um, hey, Poncho, what's up, my friend? Thanks for subscribing. Um, so we could start with a background of Explorer, Running Skill, Lantern, Rations, uh, Miner, Fighter, Chef, Gardener, Fisherman, Ranger, Mage, Warlock. I kind of like the idea of um, boy, I'm going to go Warlock. I, I don't want them to be evil minions, but I think it's funny that you get to summon. So, um, Alright, so we'll try out this Warlock and see what this is all about. So we get plus three summoning skill. A Tome of the Dark and some food. That's about what we need. In a place far away from anywhere else. You are part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. I always love this intro to the game. Feeling a strange presence you notice something between the trees. It has this like real NES quality to the, the still images drawn to it. You approach this strange relic and raise a hand toward it. Upon touching its surface, a blinding light engulfs you. We've been engulfed. That's awesome, Space Fox. We're pulled in. All right. Now oh, there's that core. I read in the patch notes that they actually changed the way the core looks in some ways. I know, Heathron. Every time I touch that. All right. I have more of a pompadour than I was expecting from the headlong hairstyle but it's pretty funny all right let's see so um looks like it needs energy you got that right punch it all right i'm breaking everything got some seeds 
And let's see, crafting. Make me some torches, indeed. Let's put those, I don't know, on our crafting bar, seems good. Put those in the bag, put those in the bag. And I'd like a pick, absolutely. Uh, put the food over here, I guess, for now. And I'd like a shovel, absolutely. And we need some more wood, no problem. Oh, Siloom, thank you, my friend. That will be great. All right, let's start putting down some uh, torches or whatever. Yeah, game has great visual, very cozy feel, even though you're in a god-awful cave. It's got a uh, nice coziness to it. And if you've ever seen me play a game that has torches... You know that there just can't be enough torches. Break it all. Mushrooms, you know it. Give me all that. I like how you could see your eyes in the darkness. That's pretty funny. Oh, cool. Thank you. No, that's awesome. I'm playing on controller, but I bet there's a keybind for that. It's like L3 kind of switches in some way. Let me see what I was doing there. I was doing something really interesting with... L3. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, controls. Delete. Okay, Alex, thank you, my friend. Biscuit, good evening. Thank you. I'm hoping to. I know I'm I've had fun before and I'm seeing just excited to see kind of like what has changed, if anything. Yeah, you can hold L three and then just drop a torch with the controller. There we go. So even if the torch is in your bag, L3 will just switch to it. I could see the glimmering of the ore. Plus one running, you know it. I think incredibly hot swap, the spicy swap. So, a question I have for you guys, I can't remember, is the orange bar beneath your health, is that just hunger? Like, there's no stamina in this, right? You could just dig as far as you like. Okay, thank you. Well, I almost fell in the water. Look how good those reflections look, by the way. Oh. Requires copper key. Look. You better calm down with this copper key nonsense. Okay, so let's make a little campsite here. First of all, it's too dark. There. Oh, I can just pick up the chest, you mean? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Bring it over here. Bring it on in. All right. Um, I need to make a table. Put this over here. Let's make a little storage chest. Wonderful. All right. Put that baby down. And then give me a chest. And then use this. All right. 
Um, I need a furnace, by golly. And a hoe, and a sword, and all the armor. I'm going to see what my book does, by the way. I haven't really messed around with it, but... Looks like when you select a book, I have a blue bar that's mana. And I summoned, like, a bat. I don't know how long the bat is going to last, but I, I can only have one bat out, apparently. That's cool. So I got this bat following me around. It's going to do stuff. Change the world. Bat style. Mining going up, everybody. Just another day to mine and be glad. All right, I need to make some more torches. Looks like a bunch of metal on the ground here. That's fantastic. Alright. Fungal soil? Oh. Maybe you're right. Maybe I was dreaming it was metal. I was like, boy, that's cool. It is. Well. Son of a gun. Well, we don't want mushroom enemies. We've got to stop mushroom enemies in their tracks. Can be cooked. There, first of all, let me just make some torches. Better. And then my bat went away. I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. All right. I got a hat. Good idea. All right. Any copper bars. All right, we got to get the furnace going then. Give me the dirt. Yeah, that's where you find the ore, but I need to make the furnace itself first. I'm just getting some dirt. Oh, there's some food. The good stuff. The berry seed. The bomb pepper. Oh, yeah. My farming can happen. Ow! That guy hit me. Alright, that's mean. Get him, bat. My bat's fighting him. Take him down, bat. Got him. Bat did the work. All right. Give me the pepper. Turf block. Assault battery a deed silo. Good one. Alright, I got a shovel. I got a glow tulip seed. Stand back. Alright. I can make this, and we will. And we could start making a little house if we want, which I'm not, like, you know, feeling like I must at the moment. 
But I am going to make all the stuff for farming. You bet it. All right, let's go ahead and put stuff in here. Ah. There's got to be a quick, a quick shuffle. No, that's not the quick shuffle. Aww. Oh, here we go. Quick stash, right trigger in A. That's what it is. Okay. Put it in there. All right. Tremendous. All right. We need some kappa. It's going. Oh, I see what you mean. I follow you. All right. We'll get ourselves a key soon enough. There's the sparklies. I see him. Oh, we're coming for you. Do 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 do. Oh, shame. For shame. Oh, right, you could just repair it, can't you? Um, how do you do that? Do I need a repair bench? Nah, I don't have it yet. I don't have that. I'm just going to use my own. We're going to forget about repair. I'm not ready, Siloom. Why? Why did I touch this artifact? What have I done? I need four copper bars for that. Five for that. A bunch for that. Livestock. I think I don't remember if I ever kept any livestock before, but that's cool. <laughs> the horde's coming. I can sense it. I didn't think it was. That's cool. I remember there being animals that you could, like, get their fur or their wool, but not that you could, like, you know, have your own livestock. The game still has the amazing bouncy wall effect. Oh, I can... I have a talent point. God, I forgot about that. Um, skills. Mining. I did it. I could summon the bats if it gets real crazy. Oh, my mining. My golly, it's going through the roof. <laughs> Very good, Siloom. I have to say, one of my favorite things in gaming in general is um, just having several different progression systems happening at once. Feels good. Yeah, not bad at all. Look, it keeps on giving.
Doe deer. Need some more wood. All right. So I have enough for the cooking table. I'm running a bit low on lumba. Let's go ahead and make this. No, I don't want those debuffs. Get them out of here. Do you need to put wood with this or something? Or do I need to mix another ingredient? Oh, okay. Huh, it's been a bit. Oh, the same can be used. Okay, great. Well, let's just let this cook. All right, so we made, um, what is this? This is mushy pepper wrap. Movement speed buff. Oh, this is very good. Look at that. Makes me fast. Do do do. All right. Pick up half. All right. Let's do it. Let's eat. I'm so hungry. Give me the good stuff. Uh, I ate it. Now I'm fast. And what am I making? I'm making uh, mushy soup. Nice. Yeah, I got the basic food I can use. I'll save that for when it's necessary. Alright. Can I make... Um, I need to go get some wood to make anything else. Nope. I would say no problem, but it's actually kind of a problem. I got a running point. I'll take that. Well, I need wood either way. But yeah, reinforcing is really good. That's right. Whoa, I didn't mean to eat that. I was trying to... There we go. Yeah, the helmet does look like a new haircut. It's a good point. Oh, plant the roots? Okay. Oh, do 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 Can I just make a better... <laughs> Be nice to just make a better mining pick, but, um,
I don't want to plant. There we go. That's true, Siloom. No dead relatives this time at all, right? Alright, um... I'm just gonna punch through? Doesn't feel good. It'll be alright, Alex. They'll grow, they'll just combine. Um... We're just going to hope that we come through to, like, a another room. All right, Alex. There's some wood. Now we're talking. Uh-oh. Bad guys. Well, they're not actually hurting my armor, but... Mushroom man. Get him, bat. Bat. Get him. Shoot that guy. Yeah. Take that. It's happening. The lumber. All right. All right, all right. There. Okay. So what we're going to do is we can now craft ourselves a better pickaxe and just kind of put that over here. And it looks like a little shoveling spot. There it is. Lots of copper here, man. It's great. Yeah, the X's are the best. X marks the spot. Here we go. Oh, gear would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, look at this. There's like a, a gate or something. I need higher mining damage. I can't get in there. Oh, we'll get in there. We're getting copper everywhere. Well, will a saxophone work? All right. Let's get back to base. There's copper all over here, too. It's everywhere. Oh, new talent point. New talent point. What do we want to do? 3% um, chance to gain additional ore or 2 durability. Um, oh, I have to put more points into this. Okay. Well, that's fine. We all see you. My bat sees you. Stone ring sounds good. Look at this. We found an embarrassment of lumber. Ah, here's a place where there's... I do remember this, like, where you could find livestock, like, chilling like this. All right. Oh. 
Now it's dead. We killed it. Oh, Silum, thank you for the tip. I don't like exploding walls. It sounds like too much for me to handle. But I've got so much copper, I can't wait to go back and start messing around. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we can. All right. So, let me then um, use my hoe, maybe, and just dig up. There we go. Maybe that one will grow by itself. Now, we're going to make salvage table and we're gonna make um we need copper bars they beep aggressively all right that sounds alarming okay so i'm gonna blow ahead and just um while i'm waiting for my copper i'm going to put the bench down here and we are going to repair this oh right 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 um here repair scrap part oh forgot about this okay so you need to salvage something so maybe i could salvage a broken thing Yeah, there we go. Did it. Okay, and then if I want to reinforce... I can reinforce my pickaxe. Which I don't need necessarily, because once I have enough copper bars, I can make um, the, the work table, I think, and make better tools in general. But let me see. All right, here we go. So a backpack is incredible. Um, I'll make that. And then we need a copper pickaxe. Well, yes, of course we do. Oh, a lantern. I need slimies. Now we're getting into some good stuff. All right. So let's go to our inventory. And let's equip this on our belt slot. Like that. I could hold more. Give me a copper pickaxe right there. And... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I mean, I figure I'm going to go to copper right away, so I think we're good. Now, can you reinforce this? I need copper bars, you say. I have copper bars. I am copper bars. Glass smelter, um, copper anvil. Very good. Electronics table, railway forge, sweet. Uh, carpenter's table, very, very cool. Uh, currently, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, reinforce my pickaxe. So it's level two. Looks like you can't reinforce it anymore. All right, and let's make the anvil. Crafting went up a level. You're darn right it went up a level. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. I can make all this cool stuff. New hat. Doubles durability sounds good to me. Let's plant some more food. Make the watering can, I suppose. What do I need? Copper? I've got some copper.
Love it. It's empty. No, it's not. It's full. Splash. Okay. So, I'm going to just use my new tool, which I'm thrilled about, and we can just tear through these walls. Yeah, I will. But um, I want to make some space for gardening first. They're going to be like, hi, how are you? And I'm just going to be like, blood for the blood god. It's going to be a scary time for the, them. I've, I've changed. The torch on the farm is awesome. Exactly, Alex. Oh, thank you. Um, Alex is saying put the old wooden stuff in the salvage bench, and Grim is saying I can get rid of the old workbench. So the the um the upgrades have all the previous recipes. Okay, awesome. Let me get this new hat on because now I kind of feel like a bad guy in Zelda, and I can put this over here. These need to go by themselves for proper. They tend to like eat up the entire field if I remember correctly. Okay, cool. Let's go check that out. Let's learn about that. So for example, I have this better workbench. And oh, I see, over here you can toggle through. So you can just be like, hey, go to the old one. Ah, perfect. That's awesome. Thank you. It's mine now. Can't salvage it, but I can just put it away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Scrap it. All right. Let me get out my food. Right. Thank you. Actually, let me take the broken pick out and just put this in the trash can. And then I can go over here and be like, hello, remember my broken pick? And they're like, oh gosh, yes we do. You may use that here. Lay down your troubles. No, those are the root seeds. Wrong one. Give me that. That was a mistake. Splash it. All right. Oops. Yeah, put this up here. Put this down here. Now you're talking. Yeah, they're like insane, and so I just need to put them kind of by themselves. It's very nice to have wood, but, uh, not on my nicely organized crops. Okay. That's looking good. It's a little too dark. Better. You're quite hungry? Oh, we'll take care of that. How about some soup?
There we go. Hey, Leonard. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Keep eating? Okay. I didn't want to, like, eat too much. There we go. Filled up. Okay. So now let's go get some more copper. I don't have a ton. Let me check the uh, map. All right. By the way, I don't think I really talked to any of these. Um, Glurk the Abominus Mass. All right. A crystal slot. Sure, you need crystal. Yes, Leonard, I hope you're doing well, my friend. Oh, my God. Something hit me in there. I need that lantern. Okay. Mushroom people. You understand how that is. Go get him, bat. I feel bad for the mushrooms. They sound like they're always, like, gurgling and choking on their drink. Are you guys okay? Place to dig. Okay. Take that. Look at this really nice area. They got a bridge. I don't even know like what I'm looking at here. Crude bomb. I guess these are somebody's like chests. Lively egg. Oh, if you find an egg, you can hatch it for a pet, is what you said. Cool. It's a hatchable, a mysterious feathered egg. That's interesting, Grim. Not a bad idea. I break everything. Peasant chest. This is somebody's home, and I'm just freely destroying it. Thank you. What do we think happened to the person that lived here? Is there an explanation? Are they just dead? Two weeks, real life time, sit on the egg, and it hatches. I mean, they picked a good spot. Oh, it's another open area. Jeez. Another point in running. A uh, fishing spot, I suppose that is. Oh, am I out of torches? Well, not for long. Oh my god. I thought that was like a giant beehive for a moment. I was a little alarmed. It's too hard. I need a drill. Okay. Well, I don't have that. Are you crazy? Hey, Lexi. Good evening. Good to see you. Yes, this is a very kind of chill game. I don't want to just say Stardew in caves, because it's not really like that. You're kind of solitary. It's like a 2D survival Zelda crafting thing. Oh my god, there it is, Silum. That happened. But we got a bunch of stuff. Oh, there it goes, Silum. Almost got killed. Almost taken to the abyss.
I don't think there's anything I like more. Um, no, Lexi, I'm just in regular. We were just talking about those exploding walls before. I love how quickly you mine in this game, especially once you get the, you know, the better pickaxe and you upgrade it just once with the reinforcement. It's really nice. Hey, Stan. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. So, we're getting a bunch more copper. Oh, look how much copper is over here. Let me summon my bat. Mushroom guy. There's two mushrooms. Get him. Now, I don't know if I just sat here and spawned, um, or like, spammed spawning my bat, if that would raise up my, uh, warlock summoning skill to make it stronger. Or make, maybe make it so I could have, like, two bats or something. Oh, look at all that stuff over there. Oh my gosh. It's a treasure trove. I can't wait to get this. What you got for me? Copper? I'm in. So I wonder if I can grow this wheat or if it's just, you know, purely decorative. I don't have a scythe. Well, that's tall meadow grass is what we're calling it here. And there's a little chest over there. Um, a mechanical part. Oh, awesome, Grim. Thank you. Now, in this game, like, if you choose a particular background in the 1.0, can you just switch off of that and kind of do whatever you want? Or do, like, a hybrid kind of build? Or I don't really know how it works at all. The purple animal? There's some really cool-looking stuff, isn't there? Hey, Leo, how's it going, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. It's a, it's a cattle. It's hungry for crops. Oh, look, it looks like I got a, uh, like, lynx armor. Okay, cool. Thank you, Grim. It's a cow, is what we're dealing with. It's a magical cow. Get out of here. Oh, I got the witch doctor vest. That sounds appropriate for a warlock. I mean, kind of. Works in Diablo. It is a ram. All right, let's go back to base. I'm, I'm like flying around everywhere, but I really need to uh, start putting stuff away, craft some new items, etc. So I am way over here. Oh, yeah. I need to... Uh... Can't you just build, like, a, a bridge? I guess I have to build flooring or something like that, don't I? I don't know if I can do that on the fly. I cannot. Okay. Witch Doctor Jeans. You can fill it with dirt, says Silum. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Oh, look at this. The Witch Doctor Jeans are level 3. They give you armor and minion lifespan. Love it. All right, yeah. It's the Witch Doctor set. So these mushroom guys are dropping it. One minion with the Witch Doctor vest. How about that? Yes. Now we're talking. I got the Witch Doctor set. Let me see what this is all about. That's two bats. That's what that's all about. 
The game's not ready. I got double bats. Oh, my food's ready. Gardening up. Can't even pick it up. Alright. Let's do this. I'm going to have to organize my stuff a little bit better. I got some bread. I should eat this. I don't think I'll ever wear this peasant chest, so I'm just going to break it apart. I don't know if that's smart or not, like if you should hang on to everything, but that's what I'm doing. Oh, maybe it's just a piece of clothing that's like a cosmetic override, Siloom? Okay, thank you. Well, it's gone forever. It can never be reacquired. All right. Wow, that's awesome, Grim. Thank you. I like summons in games like this because, you know, like in Terraria where if I just want to do my thing, if I'm digging or something, I like that they'll just fight. For me while I kind of venture off on my own affairs. Uh, okay, I'm going to get some more farmland here. And let's see. Here's my heart berry. Let's go practice cooking it, I suppose. And I got some bomb pepper seeds. Let's get these in the ground. Ear plate. Okay. I should wear it. I can't wear it. But I want to wear it. Um, the bats just disappear after a certain amount of time, Lexi. I got... One of the boosts from the gear I got extends their lifespan. But I think if they die, you could just resummon them. Whenever you want. As long as you have the mana. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and reinforce. Can I reinforce this? Fiber. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Reinforced it. Reinforce this. It pulls from the chests. I'm really loving this. Oh, Leo. Awesome, my friend. So glad you've been enjoying Frostpunk. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out Frostpunk too. Hopefully at some point here. All right, um, I'm going to pick up all of these, and let me put a few things away here. Well, let me cook. And just be like, cook that. What's that going to make for us? That's cool. And then I could put away my uh, tin ore, my mechanical parts, the fungal soil. Um, can you just... Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a quick stack. Love it. And that's a big bomb. That's fun. So, I think I can build something, perhaps, to hatch this guy. Like the, uh... Oh, I thought I saw something that was associated with livestock. Was that back here? Yeah, the, um... 
Livestock workbench, maybe. Thank you, Grim. They have to be adjacent. There's no other radius. Okay, good to know. All right, so I need some kappa. I got kappa. Oh, they're not going to pull any more than I need to go um, move this. So it's adjacent to the workstation. So let me pull this up. And then let me put it right next to my... There. Okay. So we can make... Um, we have all of this. I need fiber. Ah. I used fiber to upgrade my gear. It was the right decision. I need to make that copper key. That's what I need. There's a wood bridge, wood fence, etc. Okay. Well, I'll make another chest. Got a crafting point. Love it. And we'll put it here. And just kind of put some stuff in here. I'll make a cooking chest and put it next to my cook pot. What did we make? We made this uh, jello. Oh, God. Mushy berry pudding. That looks delicious. I'm proud of that. As is everyone. All right, so I'll put all of my cooking stuff next to the pot so it can just pull the items out. Can we cook with it? Is it food? Bring it out. I know. Can you imagine how bad that would be, Silum? All right. So I got some bombs. We can go blow apart some areas. Let's check out our stats. We've... Um, oh, there's that's right. There's these information panels here. Very good. Um, I got another running point. It's good. Crafting point. All right. Wow, Grim, that's that's a lot. All right, I need to start getting rid of this unbelievably cantankerous wood. We got to trim it back. It's out of control. These roots. You're getting two bats. Oh, you know what? I can make a better sword. Let me go do that, actually. I forgot to go to the anvil. So, um... I can make a shield. Which seems smart. And I can make a better weapon. Great. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the salvage table, and we're just going to kind of get rid of this. And I will try to reinforce my sword. I did it. I need to make a better shovel. <laughs> nice, Silo. Delicious. Who doesn't want some of that flan? Um, and then... Where's that shovel? You make the shovel? You do. And the hoe. Okay, we need both. 
All right, now we're in the big time. I can also make a fishing pole, I guess, if I really want to pull up fish, and who doesn't? And let's reinforce everything and break apart everything else. You served me well, but I can't bear to look at you anymore. Not in this state. You used to be beautiful. Yeah, you can have a pet. I just need more fiber to be able to make the uh, workstation for it. So I'm going to go look for that, actually. I'm sure I can get fiber, like, up in those areas that I was at. The meadow. Don't even mess with me. I got new equipment. I'm your nightmare. I got grass. That's not fiber. Give me that wash basin. I need that. How dare you not let me have that. All right. I'll need electricity for an incubator. Well, touche. Run away, everybody. I got a pet pellet. I mean, that seems like it'll help with a pet. Oh, I got another book. Tome with a dark item level two. It's the same as what I've got. Well, we can break it apart. And we just might. Oh my gosh. You better calm down. Uh oh, double wide. Here it comes. Run. Yeah. That's how we mine. Simple staff. Okay, that's for maybe I can use magical spells if I want. A rather small explosion that time. Shroom camp. Oh, what, who are these guys? Hey, they threw something at me. I don't think so. I don't know what you're about, but you're you're going to get dusted. Actually, you might be a little stronger than I'm hoping for. Get him, bats. That enemy is dangerous. Got it. Just barely. Nearly killed. Ow. Why would you do that? Okay. That was scary. Had to have the bats finish that one off for me. There's another one of those incredibly difficult foes over there. <laughs> Ammonite. It seems good because it is. Take that. No, my bats went away at the exact wrong time. Get him. How do you block with your shield? Oh, B. Okay. Yes, bats. There we go. Wow. They just kept staying alive. I was like, 
Are you dead? They're like, no, no, no. Not at all. Oh, I'm full on inventory. Okay. Um, all right, let's move over here and level up. I do not need tall grass. I also don't need this bush. Um, okay, it's valuable. That's kind of cool. Sand block, get out of here. A giant turtle? Well, there's lots of bosses in this. I honestly don't know. I don't think I've ever fought a boss before. Um, the peasant hat. <laughs> Look at that hilarious outfit. I'm a peasant. Oh, this is very nice hat. Gives you 7 health, 5 armor. Regenerates your health. What is mine doing? More armor. or Nah, this is mushroom hats better. Oh, it looks stylish. It looks like I have a parted hair. Yeah, how do you heal... Do you, is eating the only way? I, I thought you could make, like, potions, but I don't really have any. I regenerate very slowly over time if I do this. That's fine. My hat is also regenerating me. It's a grub cap hawk. Whatever that means. I got another egg, too. It is a pair of floating evil eyes. 100%. These are the forgotten ruins. I never forgot about them. Some other people did. I don't like being blamed for this. Get him, bats. Ooh, plus one summoning. Take that. Dead. Crystal skull shard? Indiana Jones? Combine the materials. I need to drop something. It will be this. Well. Yeah, just eat this, I guess. That's funny. Iron ore, baby. It's happening. Ooh, this is hard to get. You know what happens when things are hard to get? You find a solution. And that solution is bombs. I got some big ones. I blow it all up. Mining damage? Mining damage. That's how we get through. It does mean that, but I can get a few items and be happy about it. Hey, Sunday. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Doing great, my friend. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's get back to base. You're right. We got to offload some items. There's some gurglers. Do, 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 do. Look at this guy. What are you all about? Giant mushroom. Uh oh.
We killed him. He dropped something. That looks good. He dropped a stone skin potion. Oh, that is nice. As named. Gives you stone skin. Okay. So, let me start putting stuff away. First of all, can I make iron? Yeah, do it. Do I know if it's good? Not really. All right. I'm going to put, like, treasure and stuff up in here. Now, uh, this can go into food business. That's a pet item. There we go. We did get the fiber. So I can actually make the item I was looking for, which is the uh, livestock workbench. And then you guys are saying I need some kind of electricity. Okay. I'll make it all. Done. Just another day. Alright, so if I want to make, this is a cattle transport box, a leash, or a feeding tray. Okay, that's actually, none of that's what I was looking for. Um, if I want to make a lamp, dynamite, table saw, generator, wire, circuit, lever, cross circuit, logic circuit. Hey, Rosie, what is up? Thank you so much for the raid. Electrical door. Well, I do need glass. There's a bunch of stuff I haven't made. I never made the uh, tin workbench to upgrade. Here's the egg incubator. Never mind. I need a glass plate. And I need to make the glass smelter. That's awesome, Rosie. Thank you so much for saying that and for the raid. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. We are going to... Any sand block makes me the good stuff? All right. I got to have sand somewhere, right? I mean, I have some. I wish I had a little bit more. I can go get more. Get that in there. There it goes. Smelting it. And then let's go ahead and bust up this, and this, and this, and probably that. I'm going to put more of my food and consumables over here. I think I can plant the rest of this. Mushroom goes in here. Uh, this is just actually food. And then I... This is a decorative item. I can put it over here in my kind of like random treasure box. Fiber goes in here. Copper can go there. That's fine. Alright. How's my farm doing? It looks good. The lumber is a bit out of control, but that's how it is. That's what it does. Let me get all this stuff. Gardening going up. There we go. So I'm going to... <laughs> it's totally organized. I'm, I've got everything down to a science here, Siloam. Trust me. All right, these are root seeds. I don't want those up there at the moment. I want the berries. I want the glow tulips. That's fantastic. Bomb pepper, yeah. Let's get all these things planted. 
what's interesting is the roots aren't growing. I don't know if they need water, but... Or if it's the location... I'll give it some water. Maybe that's... Maybe that's the ticket. There we go. It's happening. I need to actually... Oh, wow, this better hoe is amazing. It does a two-by-two. Two. Well, now, now I feel p terrible. I wonder if I could upgrade my watering can, actually. I need that sprinkler. It's empty. Nah, it's not empty. It's your imagination that's empty. All right, um... Go ahead and let's see what we can get from. It doesn't pull ingredients from the chest. It doesn't look like. Oh my. It's happening. Running up. I keep forgetting. Okay, we got our running... Do that. Fantastic. How's the glass coming along? Alright. Hit me with the incubator. Copper bars? No, I'm short on copper. Alright, we can do copper. Oh, the ore doesn't... It's not adjacent. That's my fault. Okay. Well, I don't... I have some copper bars, but it looks like it needs more. Eight. Oh, we can make eight in a second. We might get an egg hatched here, people. Uh, let's see. So we now need to go look for tin. That's the kind of next little hold up for us. And I can make this... Please don't exceed recommended temperatures. Yeah, right. I won't. Trust me. Me and recommended temperatures are good buddies. All right. I'm going to put it right over here. Oh, my gosh. It's much larger than I thought. Um, do I want the loyal egg, a mysterious pointy ear that seems to react to your presence? Or I have another egg down here, which is... Uh, oh, where did I put it? A lively egg. I don't know if one's better than the other. Loyal seems good. Oh, it needs electricity. Okay. So, I guess I need to hook it up to... Electricity generator. Alright, well, we're building up to it. One day. I mean, this, is, this game puts you through the... Your paces, you're just like, at first, you're making torches out of some roots that you find. And then, a little bit later, it's like, alright, you need to start generating electricity and hook up wiring. Wait, what? Yeah, trust me. I know. We need the flux capacitor. ASAP. Oh boy. Oh, there's a lot of copper over there, anyway. Alright, let's try the old Siloom what for. And it worked. Just like clockwork. 
make a dirt bridge. I don't know, I'm just digging straight through. I'm just like, what you got for me? New biomes. Crazy. Oh, there's the slime. We can make that lantern. Now we're talking. This turtle hat, just for the regeneration, is worth it. Or mushroom hat. Not No turtles involved. Uh-oh. Angry guy. He's stuck. He broke all that stuff. Take that. Slime. Oh my god. There's a big slime. Look, big slime. I'm not ready. That's the first boss? I mean, should I prepare for this guy? Man, there's a lot of copper, though. He's not hard. That's music to my ears. Alright. So, we're gonna... Oh, I got another one of those chests that's locked up. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some food up here. eat, and then I'm going to summon a couple bats. Get out of here. He jumped! Oh my god. He keeps jumping. Stop jumping. He's not listening to me about the jumping. Ow. I've been struck. Uh oh. My bats. Bats, you gotta do this. Uh oh, he he really got upset. Oh, he's faster. I can't deal with that. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. So, I can't, like, I keep thinking, I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring, and I'm like, okay, can I roll? No. Can I jump? No. It's kind of like, I can't go any faster to, to dodge him in any way, and then he's got sticky slime all over the ground. I need some better tricks. The bats are good. I'm not. I don't know, maybe if I block with my shield, that would help. I wish I had a, res like, a potion. You know, something that I could use to restore my health beyond just the slow regeneration. Oh, you can use the shovel to remove the slime? Okay. That's a good tip. Hopefully he doesn't regain any health, and I just walk back there, and he's waiting for me, and it's over. My sword seems to be gone. There we go. Yeah, you're right. I do have a stone skin potion back at the base. That could be the difference. I could make some better food. Um, I also think I leveled up at some point on something. 
Well, I do more mining damage. Oh, summoning. Oh, my minions attack faster. Good job, minions. Okay. Well, there's that. I'll take that guy, uh, let's go get the potion. I'll take his health has, uh, stayed down low. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, we can repair some stuff. Oh, maybe not while it's, uh, Reinforced. Oh, I could reinforce my book. Okay. I mean, yeah, why not? Yep, and my mushroom hat. And my shield, if I had enough copper bars. Uh, did I get any more copper? I thought I did. Yeah, get that in there. He resets if you get too far away. That's fine. I mean, I deserve it. I didn't even know he would... I thought he would just get his full health back. I didn't realize he was going to be that generous. It does, doesn't it? 96 ounces of liquid courage slash Mountain Dew. Oh, God. Wait, dude, I'm not ready. I was, I was moving stuff around. What's this gravestone? Um, use it to decorate. Well, yeah. You can do that. All right, so let me summon these guys. And then we can eat. And then I'll use this. And then let's go, big guy. Where are you? I'm just going to dig away your slime. I need you bats to hit this guy. Well, I dig the slime. It's all I've got. Now, walked right into that. He ran away. He's dead. Hey, sentience. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. There's somebody with a little backpack there. You know what I did was I just stood there with my stone skin potion and just kept swinging my sword. It seemed to work. Um, oh, this guy buys and sells. I do have some stuff like... Are all of these like mechanical parts... Should you just sell these to these guys? Is there no other purpose? Or was that a huge mistake? <laughs> I 
Nice sentience. Uh, he sells uh, curious eggs and scrap parts and fiber. I pretty much want a lot of this. Uh, what's in the chest? Oh. I got slime oil. Well, okay. Glurch eye. That seems important. Glurch figurine. All right. Sticky stick. So it's a magical weapon. And ranger pants. Asylum, he may have been. I mean, there's like people imprisoned all, all around here, so I'm not putting it past Glurch at all. All right, let's see. Ranger pants. Um, I mean, I'm not really doing that. Does it have a value? It does. It's okay. So these items, like ancient gemstone, do these have a purpose outside of the trader? Are these crafting items? Or sh like if it's a high crafting value, should I just be selling it? Hey. I am talking to the trader. Can't believe they hit me like that. Oh, if you build a room, he'll move to your base? So it's like Terraria style. Okay. Well, let's go do that. I gotta admit, I'm a terrible person. Like, when I first started playing this game, I just thought you built a house for yourself. I didn't realize you got, like, a settlement. Oh, you could take that big chest too? Cool, thank you. Alright, so let's go back here and let's start uh, offloading stuff. Make some space. Boy. Let me make the lantern right away. I can make a... Carpenter's table. A painter's table. Uh, I need copper. So let's go to the copper bar. Oh yeah, we got copper. Oh, thank you, Grim. I was wondering what that purple item did. Alright, so let's see if I can offer one of these... This is not that. This looks like Glurch. I did that. And then this says... Oh, these are what those parts are for. The ancient gemstone. And then the mechanical part. God, I feel terrible. Well, we have to go find some more. So we can get a slime sword. Can you get all of these or only pick one? Well, if you have the ingredients, you probably can. Scans the world. Um, scans the world. Big old slime sword. I like it. I almost have enough to get that, actually. Okay. So, let's think about making space for a merchant. Do their houses have, like, insane size requirements, or is it pretty reasonable? I always like how in Dwarf Fortress you could just make them like a 2x2 two two room. You could actually make them a 1x2. And the dwarves are like so amiable that, you know, if you give them enough alcohol, they're like, alright, this is fine. You can make them all awesome. Thank you. Okay. So... I've got some... This needs to be put out in the world. Just get out of my inventory and... 
kind of just be here and make me feel bad that I can't open it. And then I have some walls, right? Yeah, I got some walls. You know it. Let us make the carpenter's table. And then this way we can make base-related items. <laughs> it's kind of like that. You could just give them a bed and like one tile and a door. Oh, the bearded one. Okay, I thought it was this. This is must just be some other kind of decorative deal. Decorative doodad. I'm going to see if I salvage these items. What do I get? Um, okay. Not the worst. Not the best. Ooh, let me put this on. Yes, lantern. Um, okay, and we need to make a generator. We got it. I don't know. I'll put it down here, I guess. It's generating. And I guess I got to make wires or something. Okay, so uh, electrical wire. Do it. Egg is working. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. It's there. We can get it out. Oh, okay, thank you, Sentience. Yeah, I got it. So this is cooking up some kind of egg. So eventually, we're going to have that happening. And let's just practice building a bit, shall we? One... Two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh-oh, I'm getting attacked. The slimes are coming. I gotta stop this. It's insanity. All right. So, does all of this slime spawn them, and if I just build a wall, is that sufficient to stop them, or are they going to, like, try to raid me and keep coming? Like, <laughs> I'm saying to myself, like, do I need to clear out every square of orange slime to make this safe? I don't want them to keep sending raids at my base. It's rude. Hey, Candy, how are you? Yeah, I have some okay armor, I suppose. Wall it off. Alright. Alright, we'll wall it off. A copper or iron hoe. Oh, right, because it's a huge spot. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, perfect. Get out of here, slimes. No one wants you. That's sweet. I'll turn this into arable farmland before you know it. Painstaking, yes, but worth it. I have to be safe. Thank you. 
I know. The slime habitat is no more. Because... The slimes and the humans can't coexist. Like, if the slime... I would leave the slimes here happily. But if you're gonna raid my base, you out. It's over. It looks like a summon spot for a big boss. Alright. Hopefully, that's enough of the insanity. I got an apprentice hat. I'm gonna see. Well, that's probably for wizards. Still, looks cool. Alright. You're out. No one likes what you're doing. All right, there's a bunch of sparklies over here. You bet I'm going for it. I mean, it makes sense. If they want to do an homage to Terraria. I hear some gurglies. Oh my god. The amount of slimes. It's too many. Get him. Bats. Don't let him in here. Oh, I'm out of torches. Ah, oh, sad. No matter wood, I put it all back at the base. All right, I'm using. So we have to go all the way back so that. Where is this jerk coming from? Have I not killed all of your slime? Now nah, there's some down there. They are so persistent. I honestly don't know where those came from. It is good for the skin, right? I'm going to build like a doorway. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Almost there. So then we can build... Um... I just need some basic stuff, some walls. Here's a floor. Here's this. What's this door need? Copper? You gotta be out of your mind. All right. Oh, I forgot to make the torches. I I was I didn't mean to, but I don't have very much iron. I do need to find some tin for sure. Alright, there we go. Hmm. 
There. We're in. Okay. So then, if I place... this, maybe the guy will come move in. I don't have a bed or anything, but... There. Alright, so hopefully... Never mind, indeed. We don't talk about the glurch. It's off limits. Alright, over by the farm. Oh my gosh. This stuff's getting out of control. It's nice that the game doesn't let you destroy the the central route, and you could just break apart, like, you know, the, the arms and such, and it's fine. It's like, alright. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get this, like so, so I can make a copper door. You're darn right, new point available in crafting. I do crafting stuff, new points all day. Oh, I have mechanical stuff, I forgot, okay. So then I can go up here and what can I make? I could make, um, I could scan. I don't know if I really want to scan. If you scan the world for Gorm the Devourer, is it a permanent reveal? Or is it only like temporary and I would need to make a note because I don't want to do it again I, I, don't, I don't have very many I'm just like kind of uh, I have a little bit of tin mm. okay Permanent until you kill it? Thank you. Alright, then let's do it. We should be like, where's this guy? Scanning it. I guess that's it down there. Gormy. Oh my god. After my extensive project, there's still these idiots who insist. That's why I built these doors. Alright. Please tell me that door will stop these idiots. I spent nigh on 25 years cleaning that area out. Purging it. There we go. Hey, cold coffee. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Yeah, you're right. That's mean. That's nasty. Um, I just do not respond favorably to enemies invading my home. That's the problem. They're trying too hard. Alright, maybe I need to make like a, a bed or something for this guy. He's really complaining about the fact that he doesn't have whatever essentials he would want. Okay, fine. I'll get you a bed. Alright, merchant man. Maybe you need a bed. There you go, buddy. Oh, he... 
Yep, the bed was the trick. He immediately appeared. He's like, I'm here. You made a bed. I love being here. <laughs> My friend, this game is like... Kind of Terraria-ish. Stardew Valley-ish, but in a cave. And top-down 2D. I guess Stardew Valley is that. Terraria is not. Okay. Let's put away some stuff. I'm going to make a chest that is just for farming. And then one that is for uh, home equipment. So this one will be for oops, home equipment. And I'll just put anything that's kind of homey in there. There you go. I guess I could put this giant chest out. It's pretty nice. You know, if I put this giant chest next to my workstation, in between them, then I could even have, a you know, a more grand workstation area. Uh, here, let me do that. Oh god. Well, that was a slight mistake, but we could fix this. There. There. There we go. There. Was that hard? Glorm? Glork? Whatever your name is. Guy that I killed. Big boy. Glorch. I remember you. You are you were really cool. Trust me. Your legacy lives on. Um, how's my egg doing? Halfway. Looking good. You know cold coffee? I did not. Sentience, that's a good way of putting it. I didn't try um, the heavy duty at all. Is it good? It looked kind of fun. The problem was I had played so much Underwheel that I was like, I got to take a break. Alright, I'm going to make this my uh, seeds container. There we go. And then I've got the Home Depot stuff. We could put down another chest. Like maybe over here just for pet related doodads. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put in these items here. And I could put in these copper bars. I feel way better. Um, I don't have a railway forge. I don't know how important that is. Let's go find some tin bars, shall we? Oh, he left. He was like, I'm going down here. You know what? Um, I have an idea. I have to be more responsible. I just have this open area. Let's... Uh, defend this a bit better. So let me take these out. And these out. And then let me build some doors. Or at least a door. Yeah, two doors is good. And then a few of these. Sure. Let me, uh, let me do us a service down here. putting the door over here. A couple of them. One. Two. Now it's pretty dark, but with some nice torch work. There we go. Now I could just seal that off. 
and hopefully all enemies do not feel welcome into this base. Hey, Hermie, good evening. Good to see you. I'm going to break all of this stuff down so we can maybe make, you know, another house for somebody. But I don't want this guy wandering off just willy-nilly. I wonder who the real willy-nilly was. His behavior has become legendary. So there are bad guys up here as well. Oh. You turkey. That looks all right. Thank you, Sentience. Yeah, it's just everywhere. And I tried to do... <laughs> I swear to you, I tried to do it with the slime guys. And it just didn't happen. I'll try it again. Like, you miss one little tile, and they're just like, we're here for life. Okay. So, let's see. We got some points to, to spend. Um, crafting. There we go. And it looks like vitality. 6% of all skill points added to max health. Great. That's nice. Okay, so I'll just kind of tool around over here, and I'm going to be looking for oh, just all kinds of fun stuff. Precious urns. I got a tin pickaxe. That's just a straight upgrade over my copper pickaxe, it feels like. Let me see if I can reinforce this thing. Tin bar. I actually might be able to get some tin out of this deal. Oh, there it goes. I feel like this game is one-to-one -one with uh, minerals. Which is great. You know, so many times it's like two-to-one or three-to-one. Hey, Mouse. Good evening. Good to see you, my friend. He did walk in circles. Poor guy. Oh, that willy-nilly. Right, now I can go over here and just say, why don't you reinforce my amazing tin pickaxe? And then I'm going to just... 95 90 mining damage. Man, the tin pickaxe is double what my other pickaxe is all about. That's... I'm not going to destroy that pickaxe just yet, but I'm really happy with it. There we go. I'm getting hungry again. It's going to be mushrooms again. Eat up. My God, that's good. Oh, good question, Siloom. How is that egg doing? Oh, 80%.
tantalizing. So I could put some of these cows in a in a crate, you know. Oh, we got some uh, meadow milk. That would be the advantage of having livestock, I suppose. Is that fabled meadow milk. Alright, this is too far. So this is like not where I need to go. If I go that way, I die. Oh, this pickaxe is... It hits this dirt and it's just one shot. It's amazing. Couldn't be happier with the... I'll even kill that guy with it. I don't care. Uh, I got a crossbow. Break it all. Oh my gosh. This guy. You can't take this guy anywhere. He's dead. Tragically, he was killed. Alright, we got another meadow. Take me to the meadow. It's nice music and everything. It's kind of like Disney. Oh, my. There we go. All right. Um, on the lookout for Tim. I heard that they added waypoints in 1.0. So that would be nice for getting back to me house. I hear some chatter. No. Oh, God, that guy killed me quickly. Aww. But I was so far away. How could you do that to me? All right. I find that to have been a rude strike against my person. There's a corpse over here. We're going to go get it. Oh, egg. I kind of thought he would die. Like, I keep underestimating the enemies. I just keep assuming, like, okay, well, you're clearly going to die. And they're like, no, no, I'm not. I don't think this thing is moving. Are you still getting electricity? Hmm. Almost, almost. Now that's a lot of copper. Soft boiled. Aw, but he's my loyal pet. We can't soft boil him. I got a tree. Oh, they took all my torches when I died? All right, we got to make some more. I will not be out torched. I see the red beady eyes. Oh my god, at the sight of my demise. Alright, well, it looks like we have a shortcut. Uh, too much stuff, apparently.
Oh, can we sort? There you go. There it is. Okay, I got my stuff back. Which is good. Oh, there's like a little railroad community over here. Well, I don't see why he was so hostile. Everyone knows that... Mining tracks mean friends underground. <laughs> it's finders keepers with all the stuff, right? I could just have whatever I'd like. That's got to be embarrassing. Don't build the tracks so close to the exploding wall there, buddy. Stationary drill. I'll give you a stationary drill. It's really hard to, uh, what are these things that I'm picking up here? Oh, these are simple staves. All right, well, not against it. Boy, this is tough to dig through. Oh, this is iron. So I've I've actually missed tin. I always keep my watering can there to keep me grounded, Silum. Remind me that I'm a farmer first. Alright. Was that guy sleeping on a job? He was. You keep sleeping, buddy. I was hitting with my book. See, Silum, you didn't know I was training for a boss. All right. All this time, I've been building up to that major boss fight. I'll be ready. Alright, let's check that egg. It's ready. Crack boil egg. All right. I don't know what that means. Oh my god. It's a sub terrier. That is hilarious. It is it's a little dog. I put it in my pet slot. Under dog indeed. You know, um, Ryan, good evening, my friend. I have heard of that, but I haven't tried it yet. Thank you for reminding me. I got to check that out as well. So I have lots of summons. Now I've got a little dog. Um, I could give it my pellet. Where's that little... I've got a creature pellet for you, buddy. Somewhere. 
Yes, I have a pellet. Oh, I have two. Here, buddy. Um, I gave him that. No, that wasn't how you do it. Yeah, there you go. Gave him 100 experience. He's thrilled. Now let's check him out. He does 11 to 13 melee damage. A canine companion. Sentience, which which was the one that you mentioned, my friend? So, I now have this dog. How many copper? Okay, that's pretty good. Obensur? No, I haven't heard of that one, my friend. Thank you for recommending it. I don't even know if I was saying it correctly. I'll pretend I am. Repair the dog. It is a dog that came from an egg. It's an amazing miracle of the cave life. I will put away these bars here. So I'm like going probably too far away for tin. I need to go in this area. I need to go kind of over here to try to see if I can find that tin. Let me put the... Uh, let's have some milk and mushroom. We know that that's a dream combo. Oh, you can't cook it. It just gives you armor. Okay, never mind. I was assuming it was like an ingredient. That was my fault. I made a false assumption, and now I feel terrible. I don't know if I'm going to use a crossbow or a staff, so I'm going to break these apart. There we go. There it is. Interesting sentium. That sounds like it's got a lot going on. Alright, perfect. So, I mean, I'll hatch the other egg just to see what it is. I don't know if that's a bad idea, but I could try it. There you go. We got a dog. We got a buddy moved into our base. We beat the first boss. And we're doing great as a summoner with two bats here in Core Keeper 1.0. However, it is indeed my bedtime, and I want to say, everyone, thank you so much for coming out and playing some Core Keeper in full release and giving me tips, letting me understand kind of what I should be doing early game. I appreciate it. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. We'll be back tomorrow to play some RuneScape, and then Thursday we'll be doing some nightingale checking out those updates as well grim sentience Siloom, alex ryan rosie thank you again for the raid leo poncho hermy cold coffee candy Lexi, Sunday, Elder Biscuit, Leonard, everyone out there, Mouse, take care, have a great one.